Hey guys, welcome back. So if you have seen this video and now you want to buy a laptop and you are thinking, hey, uh, which laptop would run this thing uh, perfectly, then this video is for you and there are probably two sections and one section is Apple laptop and other section is window laptop. So Apple laptop, I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it, but again, Apple laptop because it's costlier around 85 plus I guess M1 processor is coming right now so it, it can run anything but still uh, research on your own if you want to go for Apple laptop but I would recommend you to buy a window laptop only because you will be saving a lot of money so let me give you a quick idea like how to decide on which laptop you should buy because buying a laptop would be a two three or four year you need to uh, use that laptop so you need to think a lot about buying a laptop and i also did the same so let me help you on it to use any eds tools maximum of them you need a linux environment right and to use the linux environment you have three option if you are using a windows system and that is using a dual boot system or using a virtual machine or using a WSL Windows subsystem for Linux and in that my video I have used WSL and WSL is the lightest easiest way to use Linux in your system but if you want to do your major project or you want to do many project then WSL is not a recommended thing then you need to think about installing a virtual machine or probably doing a dual boot dual boot is means that your system would be having the two operating system window and the linux and when you start your laptop it will tell you choose between one of the two operating system you have and you can choose it and actually dual boot is the best option to use a linux but again with dual boot you have some complexities also by like making a dual boot only you need to go through many hassle you need to go through many articles to make a dual boot system and if you want to do undo that dual boot system then also there are many complexities so if you know that thing you can do it on your own but maximum of people they use the virtual machine on a windows system right and for virtual machine your system need to be capable of running two operating system at the same time so what are the things we should consider before buying a laptop so that we can use a virtual machine and we can also use all those EDS tools see if you don't want anything like touch screen lightweight laptop uh, 360 flexible laptop then any laptop between 30,000 to 45,000 range any laptop could run all the required VLSI open source EDA tools and there you just need to remember these few things and that is first and foremost your laptop should be having a 8 GB of memory if you buy a 4 GB RAM laptop then you should see that you could upgrade in a later time with 4 GB RAM also many of the thing maximum of the work could be done but still in future to make it future proof you can buy a laptop which have a 4GB RAM and probably you will get it inside 30,000 or around 35,000 but it should have an upgradation option because in the RAM we have dual channel so if one channel is free and it is not soldered to the motherboard that RAM then you can easily open your laptop back and you can easily upgrade it like you can buy one 4GB uh, RAM stick and you can upgrade it to 8GB but if you don't want to do this hustle then go with a 8GB of RAM right 16 gb is great but for our purpose we don't need 16 gb 8 gb is sufficient for now for next two three five years 8 gb is sufficient after that the most important thing and that is go for ssd solid state disk your hard disk should be solid state just go for 256 ssd and recommended size is 512 ssd disk now what should be the processor processor could be i3 or i5 of intel 11th generation if you get a 12th generation it is great or a amd ryzen 3 or ryzen 5 of 5000 series if you can go with 4000 series that also cool my laptop is of amd 4000 series that also can do your purpose very well and uh, between intel laptop and amd laptops performance are little here and there we don't need to go deep about those things but their price keep on changing so i'll give the link on the description about those laptop and you can see the real time price and you can buy any of them now one important thing and that is your skin size of laptop should be 15.6 inch because when you will do the layout things schematics things or probably scripting 
coding that time a 13 inch or 14 inch it's little smaller my laptop is of 13.4 and it is smaller but i can eliminate that discomfort thing because i have external monitor so if you have or you want to buy external monitor then you can go for 13.4 or 14 inch but hey not required right why should go for a 14 inch go for a 15.6 inch it would be little heavier on the weight but hey you are not a old man you can handle that extra weight and dedicated graphics card not required we are not going to play any game if you want to play any game you can go for your own search but here we are not discussing about those things the inbuilt graphics card is enough to handle all our power tasks and in some other way also you can save your money and the way is that go for a linux or dos version of the same system don't go for window if you go for window you need to pay five to six thousand more but as we are buying a laptop because we want to do our eds stuff dlsi design stuff which is would be on linux environment then what's the need of window there are need of window because to make your project you need office uh, excel but those things are available in linux they are little different but if you go on using linux and that is actually good also because in industry you need to work eight hours a day on linux only you need to have those uh, move command copy command search command like you need to do those things so if you have a dedicated linux system only then you will be very good with those command and you will be habituated with those command like using uh, your shell script to do all those work and few of you want to buy a touchscreen laptop or the flexible two in one like i have but hey see i have this laptop for two years and uh, there is not much advantage of a touchscreen or a yoga laptop to buy those things you are paying probably 10 to 15 thousand extra and those could buy you some more upgrade on your specification and if you want to attend your online interview touchscreen laptop is great but hey again you can just pay more three to four thousand to buy this equipment using this equipment also you can write on your screen to explain the thing in your online interview nicely so don't go for those touchscreen if you are in tight budget so check out the description there i have given you all the budget oriented laptop links like under 30,000 40,000 50,000 or 50,000 plus check out those link and compare the pricing between all those options and get the best laptop of your need